I'll bed down by the fire if you need to. You'll not regret taking me in, Mr. Rumson. I'll make you a good wife. You sure as hell will. I don't fault you for taking me for an easy woman, Mr. Rumson. I was bought and paid for. But you bought me for a wife, not a whore. And if you ever come again at me like a slaver and dog, I'll shoot you as you come. Oh, Ma'am, watch where you point that thing. Right now, you'd like to blow my manhood halfway to the moon. I mean to make you a good wife, Mr. Rumson, and honor this contract of marriage. But only if you will honor it as well. well. I don't know what you mean by honor it. I know your sort of man, Mr. Rumson. My father was the same sort, born under a wandering star. I ain't fool enough to try to bond you with all the tyrannies of marriage. All I want is your name, Mr. Rumson. And the least measure of respect due to a man's wife. But most of all, I want you to build me a cabin. A cabin that'll stand up in winter with a fireplace of stone and a door I can bolt if I have to. And if you do that, I will say you have honored the contract. But if you regret having bought me, Mr. Rumson, say so now. And if I have to work the rest of my life, I'll see you get your $800 back. I admire your pioneer spirit and your straightforward manner, ma'am. Is that what you've been admiring? I've been admiring you, ma'am. All right, I'll build you a cabin. And I'll give you my name proudly. You're Mrs. Ben Rumson. And I'll kill any man that says you ain't. And I'll stick to it till I move on. Which is when the gold pinches out or the first snow of winter. You. You ain't gonna claim duress later. Just because I held a gun on you? No, ma'am. I ain't gonna claim duress. I seem to lack all sense of shame with you, Mr. Humson. 